Hi, my name is Brian O'Connell, Staff Solution Architect with the Cloud Infrastructure Business Group at VMware. Welcome to this short video introducing VMware Validated Solutions, and in this case, Site Protection and Disaster Recovery for VMware Cloud Foundation. To begin, let's take a brief look at what a VMware Validated Solution is and how we got here from VMware Validated Designs. First, let's take a quick look at this complex diagram that describes the VVD 6.2 architecture. As you can see, there are a number of components here, all of which are interdependent to one degree or another. This is a big and complex system by design. The intent was to deliver an all-encompassing, enterprise-ready design with guidance for every component involved. When you take a step back and look at it from the big picture view like we do here, you can see that it's not modular enough to consume one part or another. As an answer to that complexity, and to provide more modularity, we are introducing VMware Validated Solutions, or VVS. In our VVS documentation, we take the most important parts of each solution design, pull them out, and let them stand alone as a guide for the design and implementation of the solution-focused and solution-centric components. The validated design documentation for the common components that apply across the board for our solutions, such as vCenter Server, SDDC Manager and so on, is moved to the mainline VMware Cloud Foundation documentation set. So we are able to add value by removing the need for a single monolithic documentation set for a given solution and compartmentalizing the good stuff. Now let's take a look at the site protection and disaster recovery for VMware Cloud Foundation validated solution. So what do you get as part of a VMware validated solution? Well, you get a set of documentation that is tailored to the solution that includes design objectives, a detailed design, including not just design decisions, but the justifications and implications of those decisions, detailed implementation steps with PowerShell alternatives for some steps to speed up time to deploy, operational guidance how to use the solution once it's deployed, solution interoperability between it and other validated solutions an appendix containing all of the solution design decisions in one easy place for review, and finally, a set of frequently asked questions that will be updated for each release. So what is the value of the site protection and disaster recovery for VMware Cloud Foundation validated solution? Well, it provides a fully validated and tested architecture for disaster recovery protection of your VMware Cloud Foundation instance using VMware Site Recovery Manager and Visa Replication. It provides disaster recovery for the cloud management layer of the SDDC by protecting vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager, vRealize Operations Manager, vRealize Automation, and the clustered Workspace ONE Access. There are PowerShell commandlets as alternatives to manual deployment steps and tailored Site Recovery Manager recovery plans for each of the protected applications, along with detailed step-by-step -step guidance on how to perform both a planned and an unplanned migration. Here we can see the vSphere view of the Site Recovery Manager pairing between two VMware Cloud Foundation instances, one in San Francisco and one in Los Angeles, along with the Site Recovery Manager plan view with recovery plan steps mapped out in a tailored plan. So where do we go from here? We'll take a look at the additional collateral linked here and you're on your way to an enterprise ready design and implementation of site protection and disaster recovery for VMware Cloud Foundation. Thanks for watching.